All right, Shalom. This is a brother in the hall. You're from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and the sincere salutation to all Yuaki, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to Aqua, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is the name of the one they ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the one they ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashim is in the name. Raka is spirit, Kodash is holy, Akyam is brothers, Akwath is sisters, all right? And Shalawam means peace in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew. Now, I want to go into a lesson through the spirit, you know, in transit. And I was just meditating on this through the spirit. You know, the Lord has kept himself a, a remnant, you know, and that elect portion of the nation of Israel is special, you know? Um... The ones who do this work, the laborers, are special through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Not of themselves, but according to the will of the Lord. You know, uh, someone has to play the role, so to speak. You know, and I was just meditating on the stewards, you know, because when you go into that word steward, matter of fact, let's do this. I'm going to start with the words of uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. This is Luke chapter 12 and verse 42. And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their, their portion of meat in due season? So right now, you know, the, the stewards are the ones who are laboring, you know, through the spirit of Pavi by Shema Oshad, going through the trials and tribulations, but being basically a steward of the covenant, you know, being stewards of prophecy. You know, serving the Lord in that capacity. That's why the scriptures have that parable of the fishers turning to hunters. Because right now the servants of the Lord, the stewards of the Lord are in charge of giving out the word, warning our people, you know, and giving our people the, the message of the Heavenly Father. That's the job of the stewards as it stands this day. Every man has their measure and their portion in his labor. You know, Yahweh Shah says that Uh, Matthew 9 and 37 Then saith he unto his disciples The harvest truly is plenteous But the laborers are few And then verse 38 reads Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest That he will send forth laborers into his harvest Now I was meditating on this right You know After the year 2000 The Lord did a basically a spiritual house cleaning You know once the Lord did that You know our apostles were preaching the word for many years without fruit. You know, and then the abundance started to come in through the spirit of Pavia by Shemel Shai, and that's the abundance of laborers. And now it's only blossoming. And the servants of the Lord are, at this point are in charge of teaching through the spirit of Pavia by Shemel Shai. Every man given a portion, every man given a measure. But the servants of the Lord won't always occupy this position as just speaking and warning the people. That's why the Lord said, man, let's get it. This is Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So right now the servants, the stewards of the Lord serve in the capacity of teaching. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. But eventually it's going to transition into rulership, actual dominion. Not just for the sake of dominion, but so the earth can be ran in righteousness. But right now, those servants, their role, their occupation, so to speak, is to teach, is to prophesy, to send the message of the Lord out through the unicorn and on the highways and hedges. And it makes me think about the, the old paths, the Lord reserving and preserving our culture. And that can be seen in the elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. That can be seen in the laborers. Because when you think about what was going on in Rome, there's a reason that we got expelled out of, um, out of Rome. Because Jake was out there, man, giving them hell. Out there in the markets, preaching. 
going back and forth with scriptures. That's happening again. That's how we know this is Rome 2.0. All things, there's nothing new under the sun. And the stewards of the covenant through the spirit of Pavi al Bashim al Shai, all right, have been given the commandment to teach, but eventually it's going to transition into actual dominion, actual power. Because it says again, those fishers are going to turn into hunters. Right now, the job of the stewards of the Lord is to fish for the elect. And nobody can wake up anybody, but the laborer's job is to preach the word and the Lord will give the increase. And that's our base reality. Everything else is just layered on top of that. But our base reality is serving the Lord. That's the, the job of the stewards. Of the entire nation of Israel, the Lord set aside a remnant, a remnant of his people that have this charge. That have the charge of believing on the promise and being servants to that promise. That's all according to the will of the Heavenly Father. Lord, willing we be a part of that number? You know, the scriptures say, ye that endure unto the end. Because the Lord, again, remember, the Lord called us servants as a nation of people. But that culture is being preserved at this point with the laborers and the elect who are serving the Lord with whatever measure they have. You, you know, it make me think about the kingdom of heaven. You know, when we was in the kingdom of Israel, you know, every man had a job. Every man had an occupation. And it was all to maintain the world that we had, the, the culture that we had. You had carpenters, you had different men playing different positions to keep the nation moving. Well, right now, as the Lord rebuilds the nation, it begins with the with the foundation. Yahweh Shai and the first fruits. All right, matter of fact. This is James, you know where I'm going. This is James chapter one and verse 18. Of his own will begat he us the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So right now the, the, the elect are precious because they hold that spirit of faith that the Lord has given them. And even though the world rejects this word, it's still being made greater and in increasing in the elect. The faith of the elect are growing in the midst of all of this adversity, man. You know, it uh, reminds me of uh, something the brother uh, Rakaya mentioned. You know, he uh, mentioned that uh, when trees, trees dig deep roots because they're searching for water, you know? And the elect are the ones that hold the water at this point through the spirit of Pavi al Bashim al Shah. And it's only growing and blossoming within that, within the elect. That seed that fell on good ground is being nurtured. And at this point, right now, the servants of the Lord are responsible for teaching the word, but eventually there's gonna come a transition where the servants of the Lord are gonna be responsible for the world. I mean, really, this word puts us in that, that place of being responsible for the world now, but it's just a matter of of it all playing out and us actually physically having power. We have power in the spirit through the spirit of power of by Shemal Shai, not of ourselves, but eventually it's gonna to transition to actually having power. Matter of fact, let's go there. Because you know, most of our people, they just wanna experience life. They don't wanna be responsible for it. You know, they just wanna experience life they don't really want to have to be responsible for the major issues of the earth but the elect are going to have a mentality of wanting to wanting to see the 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 condition of the world change and that comes from the heavenly father being stewards of life desiring that to want to see the world in the right way man and that's why to to the naked eye to the natural man this looks simple it looks vain to the natural man because their whole mindset is just experiencing the world. They don't want to be responsible for the world. Yahweh Shah is coming to bring equity. And the stewards of, of Yahweh Shah, the, the elect, all right, because again, all people shall serve the Lord, and the nation of Israel are servants unto the king as well, man. 
And we desire to see the world in a different, in, in, in righteousness. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. All right, real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and verse 24. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. And a wise king is the upholding of the people, man. You know, and as the stewards of the Lord, you know, it's going to eventually transition into having responsibility for life and the condition of life on earth, man. But right now it starts with prophesying and teaching the word, which to the natural man, it will look vain. And it's a good filtration device. Because the natural man will see this and say it's, it's, a, it's vain. That's what a uh, majority of our people say in Malachi, the third chapter, say it was vain to serve the Lord. But the stewards of the Lord, the servants of the Lord are not going to just stay in a position of just doing videos and being on the highways and hedges forever. Eventually, it's going to transition into actual dominion and rulership. This is where it starts, but it doesn't stay here. Just like, you know, brothers say this all the time. Babylon the Great is not our final destination. It was just a pit stop. This is the place the Lord put us, all right, so that the elect would be made perfect, ultimately, because two-thirds of our people are not going to get this message. They're not going to understand. But the elect, Lord willing we be a part of that number, have heard the call, returned to the Lord to the best of their ability, and are serving the Lord to the best of their ability. And those stewards are going to eventually have dominion. Now, the rest of the nation of Israel are going to have uh, they're still going to be uh, a part of that commonwealth of Israel, but the elect are going to be that governing body, the stewards of life. Right now, the world is being stewarded by wicked rulers, by Edomites. Not all Edomites, but a select few within the nation of Edom are stewards of the world. And you can see the product. The, the fact that you even think about life and wanting to see righteousness in the earth through the spirit of Pavi al Shemal Shah is a gift. Because most people on the planet just want to exist and experience life to the best of their ability. They don't want to change the condition. The desire to want to change the condition comes from the Heavenly Father. And that's what makes the elect so precious because they're willing to give up the idea of experiencing this life on, on some personal level to see the condition of life change. And that's a gift that can only come from the Heavenly Father. Matter of fact, let's go there. To have faith on the promise. You know, being stewards of the promise. While most of our people have given up on the promise, the elect hold fast to their promise. Even though it's not physically present in our reality yet, we still hold fast to that. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. That's a gift. This is Ephesians 2 and 12. No, Salakia, Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Having the faith to believe that the Lord's going to change this situation, knowing the Lord's going to change this situation, and being an active participant in things changing. Every time brothers do videos, whether they know it or not, they're play playing an active role in the condition of the earth changing through the Spirit. They're being used as a tool of the Lord to fulfill prophecy. The servants of the Lord will move, as the scriptures say, from faith to faith. Matter of fact, let's get it. This is Romans. I believe it's in, uh, I want to say 1 or maybe 11. Yeah. Romans chapter 1 and verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of Yahweh by Shemawashai, revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Now the faith of believing the Lord is, and then the faith of believing the Lord is dealing, all right, it's going to transition into the Lord actually doing what he, uh, what he said concerning us having dominion in the earth. Eventually, the condition of the earth is going to change. Eventually, the elect are going to be delivered. Yahweh Shah is going to deliver the elect. And then through the elect, the rest of the nation of Israel is going to come back in their right mind. And the condition of the earth, the condition of life as we know it, is going to change.
that involves the servants going from one task to another. Right now, the task of the servants of the Lord is to teach, but eventually it's going to transition into actual dominion. You know, and it's, you know, scriptures say good. Uh, matter of fact, let's get it. This is Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord powers upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. And that's an anointing. The Lord, had, uh, the Lord separated the remnant from the rest of the nation of Israel and gave them the Spirit to do the work of the Heavenly Father. And eventually that work is going to transition from doing lessons, being on the highways and hedges, to actual dominion. And that's beautiful because when you think about the stewards of the Lord, it's like um, when you work at a job and then the, the company gets bigger, you get to grow with the company. Whereas the Lord gets closer and closer to the earth, the glory and the faith begins to become stronger. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. And it's a beautiful thing when you think about the Lord having mercy on us and using the elect as those vessels of mercy to bring the rest of the nation back. Scriptures say eventually all Israel are going to be saved. Contrary to what people have been putting out there, these other guys, these other camps, two thirds of our people will be in the kingdom of heaven, but they're going to be their rank, so to speak, is not going to be the same rank as the elect. Just like when you deal with the etymology, when you deal with stewards, stewards were different from the, the servants, the, the regular servants in a household. All right. Real quick. I just want to bring this out. So I'm going to get the definition of steward real quick. Just a uh, new Oxford definition says a person who looks after the passengers on a ship, aircraft or train and brings them meals. It says a person responsible for supplies of food to a college club or institution. All right. Now, it says steward definition in the Bible. It says um, the manager of a household. And that's the elect in a nutshell. The rest of the nation of Israel are still servants to the Lord, but it's going to take them dying and coming back in their right mind to assume that position. But right now, the elect, all right, beginning with the laborers, the, uh, the 144 are the stewards. And every brother has a measure to put forth through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemal Shah to glorify the Lord, man. You know, I was just, mess I was just meditating on that. That that's the foundation of, of the elect, you know, really especially the the stewards the the harvest the uh laborers of the harvest their responsibility all right is to be stewards of the covenant but eventually that teaching is going to transition into being stewards of the covenant and dominion you know so i was just meditating on that through the spirit and i wanted to just put it out you know because again it's a beautiful time through the spirit no matter what we're going through you know we one day closer to seeing the lord man you know so, Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and a sincere salutation to all Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aquath, who are believing this word, in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.